Hello, this is Mary Jo with Fred's Used Websites, and I'm going to address inserting a PDF into the text of your website. I'm already logged in. <clears throat> I'm going to click on the quick edit for the body of this page. <clears throat> and I've just got some lorem ipsum text in here. <clears throat> And I'm going to say something like, for additional information, click here. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to want this word here to be the link. Notice in this first row of icons, if I have nothing highlighted, this link is not active. As soon as I highlight, being careful not to include the period or a space on either side of the word, it is active. So I'm going to click on that link. Right now it's asking me for the link URL. <coughs> And what I'm going to do essentially is put a document in the upload directory and then this link will connect the document I have in the upload directory to the live link that's on the page. So I click that browse button. I want you to notice also here we're in the Moxie code file manager right here. And this is a toggle. It says image manager. <clears throat> but at the moment we're in the file manager. If I click on image manager, then it toggles back to the file manager. So right now I can see all the pictures, but if I want to see the files, which is the best thing to do when you're working with the PDFs, I click on file manager. You'll notice there's a preview pane over here. That's different than when you're in the image manager. When you're in the file manager, you do have a preview of what sort of file it is. It's the same upload button that you've used before. Click on that green plus sign. Notice here that in the valid extensions available, here's a PDF right here. Make sure that the valid extensions for your website include a PDF. If for any reason it does not, let us know immediately. Also notice the maximum upload side is, size is 10 megabytes. Generally, you really don't want to have a PDF any larger than one megabyte. It just takes too long to open. People get impatient. So I'm going to choose the file. I have a sample PDF prepared here. It's telling me now that that sample PDF that I just clicked on is waiting eagerly to be uploaded. I don't want to add any more, so I'm going ahead and upload it to the server. It takes just a second. Now you want to scroll and find the document that you've just uploaded, and I know it's a sample PDF. I'm going to click here, and now the preview pane gives me the name of the PDF that I just clicked to insert, but I have to insert it. So here this, this live link to insert in the preview pane, you have to click on that. So first I've clicked the checkbox to select it, then I clicked insert it, and now here's this relational URL because it's just within this website in the upload file, and it says sample PDF, and it's a .pdf as well. And I'll put a name on it. You always want to give the search engine something to read, and it cannot read cannot always read a, P read a PDF, sometimes it can, it just depends on that form, but you want to make certain that you've given it a title anyway. And I would probably say the title can be long, you can put information in there, now I just gave it um, our business name and a place. More information for the search engines. Click on insert. 
Now I have a live link here that says it's additional information. The other thing that I would suggest is recognizing the fact that not everyone has Adobe products, so not everyone can immediately open a PDF. So you want to provide that opportunity for them. So I'm going to say here to download free Adobe PDF reader going to give them that option and I happen to have a second tab open here where I've gone ahead and found it the Adobe Reader I'm going to copy that URL always copy a URL do not ever transcribe one and I'm going to make this word a link as well Remember that when this insert edit link box opens, the cursor is in the absolute perfect place. And if you do nothing else but click, control, hold down control V, which drops whatever you're holding on your mouse there in that line. And once again, I named that link and I'm inserting it there. And what you might want to do sometimes since this is I'm gonna make it pretty small and I submit it and now I hide the quick edit and this is something that should be simply a matter of fact whenever you're editing your website and you've put a live link in there click on it and make sure it works so this is what happens when someone clicks on the PDF link they're gonna to have to open it and this one is a bit large it's one megabyte and there is the document right there and that's what the PDF looks like. Now I'm also going to click on to download free Adobe PDF Reader. Click here and make sure that it works. There it goes. It took, it's going to take your site visitor there and they can choose to download it if that's what they want to do. Now you're certain that you've checked it, you know it's all working right, and you're finished editing for this time.